Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today is Thursday of the seventh week of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lectio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me, I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, And I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. In today's Gospel reading according to St. John, we hear the final part of Jesus' high priestly prayer during his discourse to his disciples at the Last Supper. Jesus is now praying for all those who through the influence of the apostles and disciples who have come before us, come to believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Each one of us is among those Jesus is praying for here. In this prayer, Jesus prays above all for unity among his disciples as the most effective sign of witness. He now prays that we may display the same unity among ourselves. It's through love that Christians show for each other that they give the most effective witness to the message of Christ. It is said that in the early church, people marveled. See those Christians, how they love each other? In a world divided along so many lines, People were amazed to see Jews and Greeks, men and women, slaves and free men, rich and poor, sharing a common communal life in love and forgiveness and mutual support. It clearly would lead people to beg the question, why? And the answer is one that leads many to Christ. Is that the witness that we are giving today as Christians today. What do people see when they look at our parishes? Do they see a united Christian family or do they see division and a little unrest rather than the love of Jesus amongst all our members? What do they see when they look at our families? What do they think? of the painful divisions 
of so many groups who claim Jesus as their Lord. How can we maintain such divisions in the face of these words of Jesus? Obviously, we all have much to think and pray about regarding our personal spiritual life and the impact that we make in drawing people to Jesus. And that includes bringing back many who have left in confusion and disillusionment. So let us make for our own the last words of Jesus' high priestly prayer today. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. Some words to really ponder, my brothers and sisters. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart. This can be either through a verse or even just a small word from this scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how more, more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. So let us complete a divine reading with a closing prayer and let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by your divine word, so that contemplating you in your Son, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that notification button, the bell icon, so that you don't miss the new meditations that come to you each and every day. And please help support our channel by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all and have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all. Shalom, shalom.